Oh, it's something wrong. Squares, man. What you want, quiet Nothing. boy? Lena told me you ain't doing the right thing. Yeah, stand there with your mouth open, punk. Let your woman handle your business. What you got you Hey, Piccolo, man. Hey, man, hey, man watch your punk up on me. <laughs> Why women prefer the bad boy first and the nice guy last. Tupac versus Will Smith. Welcome to Management Highlights Daily. Today we take you back to a classic TV series called A Different World that has six seasons from 1987 to 1993. We're gonna take a look at the episode called Homie Don't You Know Me? Where the bad boy and the nice guy go toe to toe for the girl that they both desire who is played by Jada Pinkett. Ironically, the bad boy is played by Tupac, rest in peace, and the nice guy will remind you of Will Smith. Let's take a look at the definition of bad boy so you know what we're highlighting in this video. Bad boy, a person who flouts convention. Number two, a man who does not conform to approved standards of behavior, especially in a particular sphere of activity. Now it's time for us to dive into this and do what we have to do, because we men and we. Yeah. Yeah. We men and we. Yeah. 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 It starts right here. Tupac steps in the room and he's all confident. He has that look in his eyes that says, I can do whatever I want and get whoever I want. He goes straight for the kill. You never ask a girl for permission to kiss her. The bad boy is not afraid of rejection. Now this kiss takes a while before she pushes him off. Plausible deniability. I didn't do anything. He kissed me. Nice guy is looking and is letting her handle it because she is strong and independent. However, this is not working in the nice guy's favor. She will consider you weak. Nice guys are passive. Women don't like it. You can learn to be more assertive, but some guys just have it. So Lena, this is the famous crew you've been talking about, huh? Be careful with girls talking about their ex-boyfriends. It's a red flag. And my boyfriend, Dorian. <laughs> <laughs> Something funny? Oh, just the way she said my boyfriend in that Richie Cunningham sweater you sport. <laughs> the bad boy doesn't care if you have a boyfriend or not. Women love it when you still try to get with her even though she is in a relationship. Makes her feel special, desired. The bad boy also knows when he's dealing with a nice guy or a beta male. He will size you up real quick to see if he can mess with you or not because he's gonna get what he wants but he also needs to get away with it. Check this out. Homie better look out, he might just lose his girl tonight. It's a damn shame. The choir boy and his disciples seem like such nice fellows. <laughs> you know, it's always the nice ones that make the good suckers. Every time. <laughs> I told you, these bad boys know what they're doing. They know what they're working with. Check this out. Hey, check this out. Hey, uh, Dorian. You sure are a lucky man. I mean, Lena got it going on. Always will. Yeah, well, you know what they say. To the victor go the spoils. <laughs> well, I don't know no victor. <laughs> but I do know every spot on that little sexy frame she got. Bye. Look, man, you can't talk about her like that. She's a lady, and you know what? You're lucky I'm a gentleman. A gentleman? What you mean, like Michael Jackson? Yeah, that's right, man. <laughs> I like this clip because it shows the difference in the mentality between the bad boy and the nice guy. Different way of thinking, different results. The bad boy knows what a woman is. He knows how to push her buttons. He knows how to make her punani wet. The nice guy is gonna do everything quote unquote right. He's the gentleman. But being a gentleman doesn't make a woman's punani wet. Doesn't give her exciting stories to tell her friends. And to take it a step further, Tupac used to be that gentleman, and he can tell you what happened. I've seen guys speak to women with this much respect, and I deplore that. My mother is just totally, I grew up, my mother raised me. So I have this much respect for women, and I, and we, I fight often because of that. And it gives me a lot of friends. I mean, I, I get a lot of friends because I have respect for women ultra respect for women but then like I, I was I was liking this girl in, in Tam and um 
and I'm extra nice, you know, extra gentleman. I'm extra just like, oh, you're beautiful and you deserve the best. And she told me I was too nice. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it. We, we, it wouldn't work because I was too nice. That was the ultimate stab in the back. So I went through a week of just going, forget it, I'm just going to be like them. Because they seem to get the girls and they're, they're, they call girls the B word, you know, and they smack and beat and they are get, they're getting girls and I'm going, peace and I think you're beautiful and, I'm, and they're going, well, I like him because he's masculine. Tupac was one of those nice guys raised by his mama and that's where the foolishness comes in. Because it's our mamas that will tell you that you have to treat a woman with respect and be nice and all that. But just like Tupac said, they didn't want him. And that's the truth. Because being nice doesn't make the punani respond the way you want it to respond. That's what these POAs will teach you. They will teach you how to talk to the punani so it will be nice and moist. That's why Tupac changed his ways. Bitches ain't shit. We don't learn them hoes and it's like that. I feel as though it really ain't as big as everybody make it, you know? Even the females know it's Females don't even hang with females, you know what I'm saying? So why would they expect a nigga to understand something they don't understand? You know what I'm saying? That's one. Two is that these like boss, she out there handling her business. She ain't saying, why you call me He clowning, you know? And that's what you do. That's how you show and prove. But no nigga gonna fuck with her. If you call yourself a bitch, you can call you a bitch. You need to stop giving these bitches all the attention. That's why is dying now. When these hoes get horny, it's die. Hoes get horny. Stop. Watch every time, every funeral you go to, it's a that was horny the night before. So you need to start checking these. Keep your dick in. You need to go back to the OG penitentiary days and start jacking off. Cause if you don't, you gonna end up killing each other. We gonna all die. We gotta start saying these man. If you fucking with a cool female, that's all good. But if you fucking with a, you need to break her ass and shake her ass. The bad boy can make a woman hot. But that doesn't mean he's gonna be a good boyfriend or husband. Check this out. Just less down with me though. <laughs> Pink, being with you is no good, okay? It would be all about you. Now tell me it wasn't like that before. It wasn't like that before. Women love the excitement and all, but at the end of the day, their nature is looking for security, stability, safety. And that's where the nice guy comes in. She knows that he's gonna do what's right. He's gonna treat her with respect and do his best to take care of her. The problem is that if a woman belongs to the streets, to the streets she shall return and speed up that process when the bag is secured. When you look at Jada Pinkett, she had to change to be with Will. She had to change to secure the bag, but Will was never her first choice. Just like Will Smith was also not Pepper's first choice. Pepper from Salt and Pepper admitted that she turned Will Smith down decades and decades ago when he tried to holler at her because he was too nice. Gotta be nice for what? What? She said, I sometimes kick myself when I think about what could have been. He was so nice to me, but I really wasn't feeling him. I guess I couldn't appreciate a nice guy like Will Smith. He wasn't thug enough. I was attracted to thugs and hoodlums. Will was too nice to me. Pepper from Salt and Pepper chose traits from Naughty by Nature. There are enough good men out there. It's just that most women don't want them. It is what it is, guys. Man is fear, we working. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted.